Let's go to page 35 and let's start with number 1. You have negative 21 divided by negative 7. Again, this is very easy, so you can probably can do it in your head. But if you're following the learn applying the steps, then it become negative 21. Multi, uh, division becomes multiplication, and you flip this over, become negative 1 over 7, and you can reduce. Okay, so negative negative is positive, and 7 and 21. If you divide by 7, you get 1. Divide by 7, you get 3. So answer would be 3. Again, don't box the plus. Okay, this just tell you, just kind of showing the steps of how you get the positive. Okay, number three. Okay, you have 64 divided by negative 4 divided by negative 2. Okay, so you want to convert it, all the division into multiplication, so this becomes multiplying negative 1 over 4. Division becomes multiplication, so it becomes negative 1 over 2. Okay, so, neg so positive, negative, negative will give you plus, right? And then to reduce, okay, so 4 and 64, you can divide by 4, so become 1, divide by 64, you get 1, uh, 6. And then after that, you got 2 and 16, so you can divide by 2, you get 1, divide by 2, you get 8. Okay, and so answer would be positive 8, and the answer would be just 8. Okay, okay let's go to number 5. You have negative 6 divided by negative 1 third divided by negative 1. Okay, so again, first I'm going to convert everything into multiplication. So negative 6, divide means multiply, right? Convert to multiply. Then you have to flip this over so it becomes negative 3 over 1. Okay, again, this is division, so multiplication. So when you flip it over, it's still going to get negative 1 over 1, okay? Okay, so now, that's going to take care of the sign. So negative, negative, negative will give you a negative. And the number, there's nothing on the bottom, so nothing to cancel out, so you just multiply. So 6 times 3 is 18, and times 1 is still 18, right? And we already take care of all the negatives already, okay? And so that's it. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, number seven, we have eight times negative 18 over three times negative 12. Okay, so this is already put all together. So what you can do is you can go and start to reduce. Okay, so three and 18 are divisible by three. So if you, div I'm gonna put parentheses over here so, it, so less confusing, okay? So three and 18, uh, you can divide by three. So divide by three, you get one. Divide by three, you get negative six. Now watch, you make sure you keep your negative, right? And oh, actually, no, let's go and get rid of negative. Okay, negative and negative can cancel out. Let's, let's take care of that. Okay, then eight and 12 are multiple of four. So I'm going to divide by four, I get two. Divide by four, I get three. And notice I got six and three, so they are divisible by three. So I'm going to divide by three, I get one. Divide by three, I get two. And so, so now you got 2 times 2 on top and over 1. So just write 4, right? So 2 times 2 is 4, and that's it. Okay, next one. You have the bracket 60 divided by negative 5. Bracket times bracket 8 divided by parentheses negative 2. Okay, so you have, you have to do each bracket individually, okay? And, okay. So this one, again, if you apply the steps, okay, you can just divide, the simple number, you can just divide, but I'm gonna just do it a long way to just apply the steps. So 60, okay, division, you change into multiplication, you have to flip it over, okay? And you do the same thing over here, eight, division change into multiplication and you flip it over okay so so first step I change all the division into multiplication and then after that I'm gonna start to multiply so 5 and 60 you can cancel you can re divide by 5 you get 1 divide by 5 you get 12 so this become negative 12 okay and notice I change bracket to parentheses right because there's nothing else on the inside 
This one, again, you, do, you can do the same thing. 2 and 8, you can divide by 2. You get 1, divide by 2, you get 4. So this becomes negative 4. Okay? And so now you can multiply this together. Negative, negative give you positive. 12 times 4 give you 48. So your final answer would be 48. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, number 11, you have negative 16 times it by 3 divided by 2 over negative 2 to the 4. Okay, so there's a division over here. So again, first I'm going to do is change that into multiplication. So I got negative 16 times 3 times 1 over 2. And on the bottom, um, I get negative 4 to the 4th power, uh, negative 2. Come on. This is negative 2. Okay. Okay, so now we can go and work it out. So notice 16 and 2, you can reduce by 2. So divide by 2, you get 1. Divide by 2, you get 8. And so when you do multiplication, first take care of the sign. So negative, positive, positive will give you negative. The number, 8 times 3 will give you 24. Okay, on the bottom, this is the fourth power. So you're going to get four negatives. You're going to have negative, 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 negative will give you positive. And 2 to the 4 will be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, okay, which will give you 16. Okay, then after that, you're going to reduce. So both are divisible by 8. So when I divide by 8, I get 2. Divide by 8, I get 3. So the answer would be negative 3 over 2. Okay. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, number 13. Got we have 3 squared minus 5 squared divided by 3 plus negative 5. Okay, so again, this is a grouping symbol. So you have the top group and the bottom group. Okay, so I'm going to do the top group. So 3 squared is 9 minus. Now, notice there's no parentheses. So that means the square is only for the 5 only. Again, exponent is only for what is immediately before the exponent. Okay, so, so this is only for the 5, not for the negative. That's why you keep the negative. So 5 squared is 25. And over here, this is positive, this is negative. So the opposite, so when you add together, you have to subtract the number and follow the sign of the big number which is negative. Okay, then after that, so again, to, add, to combine the numbers together, you got positive and negative, so they're opposite, okay? So when they're opposite, you subtract the number, so it's 25 minus 9 will give you uh, 16, and you follow the sign of the big number which is negative. Okay, and the number would be negative 2 on the bottom. Okay, and after that, you can reduce. Negative, negative, give you positive. 16 over 2, if you divide by 2, you get 1. Divide by 2, you get 8. So answer would be 8. So your final answer would be just positive 8. Okay. Okay, number 15. Okay, you got 144 divided by negative 24 over negative 100 divided by negative 2 over 3. Okay, so again, I'm going to convert everything into multiplication. So I got 144. I'm going to put over 1. Okay, so that way you can kind of keep track of what's on the top, what's on the bottom. Okay, division, change into, change the division into multiplication. And so you have to flip this over, so it be negative 1 over 24. Okay. On the bottom, I get negative 10. Again, I'm going to put over 1, so to keep track of top and the bottom. So division, change into multiplication. So when you do that, you have to flip this over to become negative 3 over 2. Okay. My next step, I'm going to start to work it out. Um, so this one, um, both are even, so I'm, I can divide by 2, so I get 12. Divide by 2, I get 72. And now I can, now it's become more clear. So this is divisible by 6, I divide by 12. So if I divide by 12, I get 1. Divide by 12, I get 6. Okay, so I'm going to get, I'm going to get negative 6 on the top. So if, if you don't see that, you can just keep dividing by 2 and keep going. Okay, on the bottom, negative times negative is positive. And 2 and 10, I can cancel, I can reduce. Divide by 2, I get 1. Divide by 2, I get 5. So I get 
positive 15. Okay, then after that, um, I can divide by 3. So divide by 3, I get 2. Divide by 3, I get 5. So the final answer would be negative 2 over 5. So again, you can do many of this problem without even how to use calculator. Okay, number 35, uh, page 35, number 17. Okay, you have negative 24 bracket negative 18 divided by negative 2 over 3 bracket over negative 18 times negative 2 over 3. Okay, again, there's a, there's a division over here, so I need to convert that into multiplication before I do anything else. So it'll be negative 24. You can do one step at a time, so you keep everything the same. So you got negative 18, so convert division into multiplication and you have to flip this upside down okay, and this one um, this is negative 18 so this one I'm just gonna leave it for now okay I'm gonna just do a few steps on the top okay so since there's a grouping symbol so I need to do this first and I'm gonna put this over here okay so this one um, negative times negative is positive Okay, 2 and 18 can divide by 2, so divide by 2, I get 1, divide by 2, I get 9, so it becomes positive uh, 27, okay, so this is that, okay, and on the bottom, um, I can go and reduce already, okay, negative times negative is positive, 3 and 18 can divide by 3, so get 1, 6, and so I get plus 12, okay, and instead of multiplying into big numbers, notice there's 12 and 24. So actually, I can go and divide by 12. So divide by 12, I get 1. Divide by 12, I get 2. So now I got negative 2 times 27 will give me negative 54. Okay, let's go to number 19. Okay, I got 9x squared plus 27 over negative 3. Okay, so this is the one of the rules we learned earlier. We can undo the common denominator, so we can go ahead and uh, separate. So I got 9x squared over negative 3 plus 27 over negative 3. So un undo the common denominator. Then after that, I can go and reduce. So 3 and 9, I can divide by 3, I get 1 and 3. So it would be negative 3 x squared. Remember, negative can go anywhere. It can go on the top, the middle, the bottom. Since the bottom is only 1, so you can get rid of that. Okay, the next, next term. So positive negative will give me negative. And the number would be, uh, this, this one can divide by 3, so you get 1, you get 9. So it would be minus 9. Okay, and that's it. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, you got 1 minus negative n squared over negative 1. Okay, so first we have to do the exponent before we do anything else. So 1 minus. Okay, now remember, yeah, the exponent is for what is immediately before it, right? So exponent is before the, uh, it, the, uh, the parentheses before the exponent 2. So that means everything in the parentheses get squared. So negative, so it means the, the square is for everything inside. So it's for this and this. So negative square will give you positive, and n to the square will be just n square. Okay? And we got negative 1. Okay? Then after that, um, so when you divide by negative 1, you can just kind of put a negative on top. You can distribute. Okay? So, so 1 divided by negative 1 will give you negative 1. Negative n square divided by negative 1 will give you plus n square. And again, I'm going to rewrite it in a better order, so it looks nicer, okay? And so that's it. Okay, number 23. Okay, I got 36 c squared minus 24 c minus 6 over 6. Okay, so again, you only have one term on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo the common denominator. So I'm going to make it 36 c squared over 6 minus 24 c over 6, right? I can just separate these, 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 right? Minus 6 over 6, right? I can check positive, negative, negative, positive, negative, negative, right? So after I undo the common denominator, I can simplify each term individually. 
So 6 and 36, I can divide by 6, so 1 and 6 will be 6c squared. This one, 6 and 24 divided by 6, I get 1 and 4, so I get minus 4c. This one, you can just divide into 1, okay, and that's it.